here we are. We're back. Coaches are taking over. At the end of a really good weekend, yep. we're going to wrap it up with a nice, fun project. Mm -hmm. Easy project. Yeah, super easy. It's even easier because <laughs> I'm not doing it. <laughs> we're going to learn how to do a swag. So I'm going to start with this pre-made flocked base. It has pine cones, berries. It's already flocked and ready to go. And I just used some of the leftover ribbon. And I'm not even going to fluff this because it's, they designed these to be ready to go. You walk into the store, you buy it, and you go home and you place it on your door. Well, Jordan doesn't do that because it's <laughs> not Jordan's style. <laughs> so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to wire this in. Now you could easily just... Well, now what are you making next? Um, what? Zip tie I'm it watching. in. But I'm, I'm just going to go ahead and wire it in. And the main thing you want to know that you, they're going to know. <laughs> when you wire a bow in, when you, when you're selling this to your customer, run your hand along the back and where you put your bow, that's the last thing your customer wants. And that's the last thing you're going to want to deal with is, hey, I bought this swag from you and it scratched my door really, really bad. So you just take that wire and you tuck it in under the greenery and the ties. And now you're not dealing with oh, no, those are any scratching. Oh, yeah. And I left some length to these ribbons. I didn't even bother cutting this ribbon. This is still about a yard and a half left on it. So I'm gonna take this tail, run my hand along it the bottom of it and pinch it and I'm going to find me two pine needles towards the spine. Actually, I'll do it this way. I should probably do it this way, right? So they can see it. Two pine needles and I'm just getting this pine needle and twisting it. Bringing this happy holiday one to the front. So and getting that exact ribbon and running across. All right. And another pine needle towards the bottom. And I'm just going to curl that ribbon up. Yeah. And that was just that one long ribbon tail. And this one I'm gonna curl up. And this ribbon, I'm just gonna go ahead. Let me see my demonstration. Up. You're missing the comment. I didn't cut this ribbon, I just curled it on itself. Because that you want to choose a nice designer, high quality ribbon that's gonna hold its shape. This peppermint came from Kalees.com. So, what you got, friend? Like I said, this peppermint came from Kalees.com. And it's gorgeous. And it did have a hanger, but I just cut the hanger off. And I ran a old a stem that came off of one of our projects in there and just made a little hole. Uh, and now I'm going to add some glue in there. Everything. And run that back in there and glue the stem into the peppermint. Get it, friend. So this peppermint came from Craftex? Craftex, yes. Okay, so this one didn't have, it's not made out of foam, it is made out of plastic, mm -hmm. but it did have a wire hanger on it. And I did pre-glue the wire hanger in there so it doesn't come out. And I'm just taking pipe cleaner and twisting that in. in there. So now, since I'm pretty sure this is already dry, I'm going to take this peppermint and I'm running it down into the greenery. I'm going to curve that a little bit. Ainsley, one thing I don't forget this. 
And if you notice, I used zero glue. And I'm gonna get a tie. There we go. Mm -hmm. How many zip ties do you get there? A lot. A lot. I do go through a lot of zip ties. So all I'm doing is I'm making sure I grab that floral stem that I stuck in there to zip tie it along the spine of the Is. So now I'm going to take, I angled this when going this way, I'm taking this peppermint, and I really wish they wouldn't have glued down that damn pine cone. Oh. Well, <clears throat> well not Nan's best friend. So I'm, I'm just taking wild. that peppermint that I put a pipe cleaner on and twisting it on that greenery. It's crazy. Well, <laughs> <laughs> and those are the two big ingredients I'm going to add. They're fine. Oh. I'll do some surgery. Yeah, I can do it myself. Okay. I can do it myself. Yes, I was just going to glue it on. If it would have been a glue. So what are you using to make a steak? A skewer. Yeah. Shish kebab skewer. Mm -hmm. No, best investment at Walmart. Yes. Dollar for a whole bag of them. Yep. Yeah. Dollar for a hundred. So it was on a stem, and the stem piece that came off of this I used on the peppermint, so I recycled Ooh. a little bit. And it's on a really sturdy wire. And what I did was I just uncurled it just a little bit and gave it some length. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna run this wire with a little bit of glue, not a lot of glue, after I put 20 pounds of it on there, and run that in between the bow. So are you just basically giving your bow some life? Or yes, just I'm giving, on top of it? giving the bow some extra life because I noticed that there was an empty spot up here. This pick, <laughs> That was a ball pick and it came from Craft Tips, right? Yes. Correct. Yes. Yeah. yes. And it's on a stem kind of like that. But mm -hmm. we had already cut them for a previous project. So I'm just going to take some glue on this one. And put that one right on top of the bow. So I'm just going to take this stem and I'm adding glue. So I'm going to take this stem and run it in there, making sure that I'm getting all the greenery that I can possibly get. And now that it's <laughs> in there, I'm taking this stem that I added a little length to under the curl and folding it up because I don't want the present pointing down. I want the present pointing up and setting on there like that. And now I'm going to take these lollipops that came from Kalees.com actually. Okay, they yes. Did come from yes here. I, did. I love those ones. Though. I yeah. love so these. Pretty. And they're and I love all they're, the things that you're adding to this. Go big or go home, yeah, my friends. This is the stem that has the two lollipops on it. And I'm taking this one. I'm going to put some more. Oh, put some more glue on. And I'm going to run get that down into there. And I want to put this one behind the bow. And I'll go back and I'll zip tie that. I'm just running some glue and tucking them 
in different spaces. Do you just use a glue gun or do you use a glue pot sometimes? I just use a glue gun. Use this glue over here. There is a glue pot. Yeah. I have it. Oh, no. just, uh, and this one okay. doesn't have a wire. I don't know. So. I don't think I have to turn this one on. Mm -hmm. No. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Like that. Mm -hmm. Trim the wires in the back. Beautiful. Mm -hmm. Nice. <clears throat> and I'm done. Yay! Where is it? Oh! And I'm starting to go looking for those balls tomorrow. I took them all today. <laughs> So, mm -hmm. so I guess I'll just very very nice, buddy. Woo woo!